She pulled up to get 50 on pump number three. She pulled up to get gas in her car. The young man sat on the passenger side. As she put the car in park, the young man sat there wondering what was the next move while they were at the gas station. At that point, she began to verbalize, go inside and pay for the gas and then pump the gas. He began to tell her that he was not in the mood to do what she just commanded him to do. I'll give it to you like this. For an example, he's in the car with his father. His father pull up at the pump. Everything is inaudible. He will give you the money. You will figure out what number it is by looking and you will go get the gas and pump it and put it in the car. If you decide to make any sound effects, if you decide to do any delays or outward body emotions of objection, more than likely you will walk from that gas station and you may have to the end of the day to be out that man's house. I say this before I close. Too many of our young men's hands are becoming feminized. Too many of our young men's hands are becoming feminized. And what I mean by that is this. They are allergic to doing any type of work. The car breakdown, they on the freeway. We talking about just the flat tire on the breakdown side. The spare is in the trunk. They don't know how to jack a car up. They don't know how to break six lugs off, change the tire. They'll wait to call triple A and wait four to five hours on the side of the road with your daughter in the car. I'm going to say it again. These young men's hands are becoming feminized.